Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson, we're gonna just practice with money. You've already now learned to count coins and we're just gonna practice a little bit now. First of all, here's pictures of money. I hope you can see them clearly. We have quarters here, dimes here, nickels here and pennies here. And let's say that's the money you have and you're gonna buy this little toy car for 69 cents. So, how much will you have left? This is your money. 69 cents. We can cross out the coins that you need to buy it, okay? For 69 cents, okay, you want to use some of those quarters. Remember, two quarters makes 50. One quarter was 25 and two is 50. So we're going to use that and that. That would be 50 cents. And then for 69, we need 10 more. That's 50 and 10 more. 60 and now 9 cents you would use a 5 and then 4 pennies that makes 9 so those coins go away from your purse because you buy the car so what is left now we can figure that out you have a quarter that's 25 and then let's add the one nickel from there 25 and 5 makes 30 and then these tens 40 50 60 and 2 62 cents left. Again, here you buy a flower for 98 cents. So let's first cross out the coins you will need to use for that 98 cents. Here we have two quarters, that is 50 cents. Okay, 50. And then let's take those tens. Dimes are 10 each. So 60, and then 70, and 80. And then we need 10 more, because it's 90. So two of these, two nickels makes 10, that would be 90. And then 8 cents, so 5 and 3. Oh, well, that used up most of your money. And what is left? Just a nickel of 5, and then 5 pennies. 5 and 5 makes 10 cents. Now, this is a little different exercise, here is again what you have in your purse. And you buy a pen for 56 cents. Here we're just gonna draw the coins that you're gonna use to buy it. 56 cents. Okay, I would use this. This is 25. A quarter is 25. And this is my quarter. Okay, 25 cents. That's how I draw it. Then I need some more. Let's say that I get a 10, a dime. Now that would be now 35, it would be this one. Then another dime would be 45, right? So there's 25, 10 more, 35, 10 more, 45, and one more 10 would be 55. Okay, you have all those dimes. And then just one cent, like that, from there. You buy a toy for 42 cents. Is that Matthew? Why not a puzzle book? Well, mathy puzzle books usually cost more than 42 cents. Except maybe you are at a yard sale and somebody's selling it cheap. Yeah, you can think of it as a puzzle book if you want to, Matthew. He loves puzzles. 42 cents. I'll need my quarter again, right? And then let's say that I use... I could do the same as here. I use a dime. So that would be 35 cents. And then, I don't want to use more dimes, it will go to 45 cents, that's too much. So I will take a nickel, right? 25 and 10 more. 35 and 5 more is 40. And then just two pennies. And that's it. 